And you got it? Of course I got it. See? Look, this is the one we're gonna steal tomorrow. And soon will be ours. Let's roll. City of Churro was on its way back to the mainland before stopping to admire the beautiful Vicarage Fair. Oh my, interesting place. What is this? This is the Vicar's Orchard's Fairground, said Trevor. You must be City of Churro. Nice to meet you. My name is Trevor. Hello, Trevor. This looks wonderful. This always happen once a year. Well, once every month, actually, said Trevor. Would your passengers would be interested in coming here? Well, in fact, they do. I'll drop them off at the nearest station and then they can walk down here. That's great, said Trevor. Hello, Toby. How are you? Are you involved in this? Yes, I am, Churro. I'm surprised that you're here. I thought you are heading back to the mainland. Oh, soon. One of Churro's passengers leaned out of the window and saw Toby and laughed. Ha 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 ha, look at that steam tram, old fashioned out of date. What's he working on this railway? He looks better in a museum. I maybe look old, and I don't deserve in a museum. I'm really useful. Useful, huh. It was only a matter of time. Why you little- uh, I think I'd better get out of here, said Sir Trevor, and quickly left. Wow, that's rude, said Trevor. Yeah, I know, right? What's wrong with that passenger anyway? Um, Toby, could you help me with something? Of course, Trevor. Did you know that the, the church nearby has been burgled last night? Really? You don't say. I don't know anything worth stealing. Well, they didn't steal anything. They took a special book. What special book? wondered Toby. Well, this special book contains some valuable stuff that was recently moved out from the church to a museum, said the vicar. The previous owner asked me to do it, but unfortunately his family disagreed with the idea. But unfortunately they, didn't ha they can't argue with that. So you think they are, invo they are involved? said Toby. I don't say much, but that's just a theory. I better be off, Toby. I got work to do. Me too, said Toby. Goodbye Trevor. Goodbye Toby. As Toby trundled down the line, he remember about the bad comments of the passenger. He was very hurt. He eventually stopped thinking about it when he passed the museum and saw Edward waiting at a signal. He told Edward all about what Trevor said. That is not good, said Edward. Hopefully the police can catch them before they do any more damage, said Edward. Luckily there's a police car over there. Hopefully this thing will be resolved before nightfall, said Edward and left. I hope so, said Toby. Perhaps I should come back to the museum at night, just to be on the safe side. What if that engine finds out? Don't worry, he won't know. By the time we are left, he already arrived. Besides, what could possibly go wrong? I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep quiet and do what I say. Fine. Night came. The police thought everything was alright and left the museum, unguarded. Then, everything seemed to happen at once. A siren can be heard. Bulgy looked ahead and could see that there were two robbers leaving the museum with a bag. Toby, who was coming up a few minutes later, also saw it. The two men ran to the their car immediately. Hurry, hurry up! Hurry up! I am! Come on, let's get out of here! Oh no! I must stop them, said Toby. You better, said Bulgy. My driver is going to contact the police. Toby raced down the line to catch up with the robbers. Fortunately, their car had a slow start, so Toby was able to catch up. I can't keep up like this, said Toby. I have an idea, said his driver, and began to ring his bell. That caught the, the driver's attention as well as Trevor, 
Suddenly, they were heading straight towards each other. The driver swayed to the right and crashed in through a fence and onto the tracks. Quick, 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 let's get out of here before we... Uh-oh. Hello, hello, hello. And what's going on here? The robbers had no choice but to give up, and Toby saved the day. News of Toby's night encounter already spread to the newspapers. Look, I knew that the family up to no good. All of them arrested in relation with the robbery. Good riddance for them, said the vicar. Hope I won't deal with it anymore. Now they're going to be locked away for a long time. Ah, Toby, I see you became a celebrity here. You did well there. Ah, thanks, said the Travel. It's just a nag. Yesterday's rude passenger leaned out of the window and said, Huh, look at that tram engine. That engine is no longer useful. Like I said, it's only a matter of time that- Oh, be quiet, will you, said another. You you read the newspaper. Look, he saved the day, prevented a robbery. I guess yeah, he is useful after all. And everyone agreed. Huh, about time that he finally shut his mouth, said Toby. I guess he won't make any rude comments from now on, said Edward. Now I must get going. Bye, Edward and Toby, and nice meeting you, Trevor. So long, everyone. I'll see you next time. And City of Trowell left. Back to the mainland. A bus roared into the festival. Ah, here are the people. Time to start the opening. Many passengers got out, and they cheered for Toby. Well done, Toby, they all said. You did well preventing that robbery. Toby smiled. I may be old, but I'm really useful. And a heart of gold too, laughed his driver and fireman.